So, hey, y'all. Um, I'm basically on this video here today just to set some things straight. Okay, I know I'm vaguely, very, not even vaguely, very honest with you guys about my life and what's going on inside of my life and what I'm going through each day. Why? Because I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Perfect. And at the end of the day, if I want to let you guys into my life, I might as well just tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? So when I said when I when I come on here and I'm like very upset, it's because not even very upset, crying and stuff like that. It's because you know I have a lot of weight on my shoulders. I have a lot going on in my life, and um, mainly is the consequences of me having a good heart and stuff like that, and doing things for people and not worrying about myself at the time. Um, I had woke up to a comment talking about um, my priorities aren't straight and all this other extra crap. And I'm like, what? Like, first of all, yes, my priorities are straight. I don't never put someone before myself. And I always put I always put what I have to do first ahead of everything. And then I worry about other stuff underneath. I never sit up here and neglect my bills and stuff like that. Things pile up. And at the same time, my job started getting paid weekly. Hours wasn't right the way they're supposed to be. And I'm just like, when I saw the comment, I said, who are you to even be saying to me my priorities are on the street? Like, I don't even know you. And when I posted that video, I wasn't posting anything for anybody's opinion, really. I didn't ask for your opinion. I didn't say, well, tell me what to do. Tell me what I shouldn't do. I said, keep me in your prayers. That's what I said. I said, thank you for the words of encouragement. That's what I said. I didn't ask for nobody's opinion. I didn't ask nobody to tell me what to do and how to do it and stuff like that. You know, sometimes people need to vent. Sometimes we don't want to hear, we don't want to sit up there and hear your negative opinions and stuff like that. If you're not trying to encourage, I don't want to hear shit right now. When I ask for your opinion, it's when I ask for your opinion. I mean, if you give it in in a nice and loving way, then I can stay under I can understand. But at the same time, I didn't ask for it. So I, I was just look, I didn't I didn't even I didn't even continue to read the whole thing. Because you know why? I didn't want to dampen my spirits any more than what they already probably were. Like I really feel good today. I'm accepting everything that's coming towards me. I'm accepting everything that I gotta give away that's being taken away from me. I'm accepting it all. I'm going back to my mother's house. Because why my mother in, is inviting me into her house, into her home. I've helped her, she, and I know she would help me. So I'm going to my mom's house. I can't do the room thing. Um, what is it? Um, I do my own hair, guys. I do my. I don't go to the shop. I do my own hair. I have my cosmetology license. I don't want to do hair no more. That's why I'm not in the hair business. But I will do hair on the side to get extra money, and that's how I've been getting extra money to buy little things that I probably want which is my nails, and my mom give me money. And my nails, a refill is only $13. I go to the dollar store like everybody else. I shop at Walmart like everybody else. I buy food when I want to buy food because it's only just me. So when I move to my mom's house, I probably will be buying a little bit more food. Um, I don't just splurge on things I know I'm not supposed to have. No, I do not. I don't have cable. I have Wi-Fi from my work phone see that's when people get it messed up they think i have all this extra stuff and i really don't that 55 inch tv that i got was a gift from my mom last year last year for me helping her when she didn't have nowhere to go see it's all these things that people think they know that they really don't know so at the end of the day the things that i have i use what i have I have the re I use the resources that I have. I don't just go out and doing things of being irresponsible. No, I do not. I handle my bills first. I handle everything I gotta handle first. My electric, my cell phone bill before it got this way. <laughs> like I would handle everything first. So um, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up, uh, and I want I just want to let to make sure I clarified everything before everybody say give this up and give that up and stuff like that. And I already talked to my girl, my girl, Philly girl. You already know we're here. But everybody else who, who just speaking on shit that don't know what they talk about, like, 
Um, I know you're probably watching it, but watch every video before you got something to say. Like, really. Anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. Um, I'm not an irresponsible adult. I'm 28 years old, about to be 29 in March. My mom taught me well. I've been on my own for five plus years. And half the people that got probably that probably got negative shit to say probably still live with their parents. And never really had any responsibility. Like, I'm the oldest of six, seven kids. I I know where responsibility is. I have I'm in a rush I'm I'm in a rough patch. And I always see myself out. I always see myself in the future out of what I'm going through right now. And this is a word for everybody. And this is what I'm gonna say. My minor setback is for a greater is for a greater comeback for me. Because I know this I'm not gonna stay in this too long. Watch when I move watch when I move out of my mom's house. I'm gonna be in something totally better than what I'm in right now. And I already know that. And that's for everybody who's going through something right right now. Your minor setback is something greater for your, your greater comeback. So, whatever we all are going through right now, we're going to come out of this right and together. And we all going to be, we all going to rise together. Women need to stick together. And that's how, that's how I feel. I understand that we have some people that don't want to see us come up, but we got to, we got to want to see each other come up. Like these smaller YouTube channels, we got to want to see each other come up, Right? We ain't going to stay down here. We're going to rise. We're going to fly above all the haters, right? Yeah, so I just wanted to clear that up because, you know, I don't like people sitting here telling me what I need to do. And at the same time, like, I'm stupid. You can give your suggestions, but don't give me opinions that you don't know shit about or that you don't even have the whole story to. And, oh, yeah, one more other thing. When I go to Washington, it's because Quay wants me there and she pays for my ticket, they're, they're, I only pay for one of my tickets. And that's because she didn't want me to pay for the rest of them. So, and whatever I do, she wants to pay for it. So if I'm going out to eat, Quay paying for it. So if I'm going to go do this and I'm going to go do that, mind you, museums are free in Washington. And anything else that I'm doing is because Quay wants to do it. Why? Because she keeps saying, I deserve it. She knows a lot of things that I've already been through and the situation that I'm going through now. So, yeah. I love you guys for dear life, and I'm always going to say that. Thank you guys for listening to me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment, like, and subscribe down below. Hit the subscribe bell next to the subscribe button for more videos from Dimples215. And I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow.